Hello friends, today we are going to see the LFA or the power flow studies on Sriva system. Again, we can test the effectiveness of the uh, an, uh, many softwares. Uh, today we are going to see the Electrical Transient Analyzer program or ETAP software. This software has a lot of analysis, not only the LFA, short circuit analysis, fault analysis, under two basic uh, fault techniques by uh, symmetrical and unsymmetrical fault analysis and uh, uh, it can uh, make <coughs> arc uh, arc fault analysis it can uh, model design uh, simulate uh, so many softwares on power system uh, on renewable energies like microgrid systems and the synchronous machines and also electrical machines design so this etap software has a lot of a lot of uh, necessities to electrical engineering students and lecturers as well so uh, in electrical engineering we have a lot of a lot of things to have uh, to touch and uh, uh, look uh, in deep so today we are going to see the last chapter the last lesson on load flow analysis because we made two last videos on power overload simulator and dig silent power factory and we can see with three bus system and five bus system a network so today we can repeat the three bus system by modeling and giving another uh, scenarios or another topologies in etap software with version 2019 in order to start the pro our project, so click it file, new project. We can name it like, uh, for example, ETAP um, uh, LFA. We can make it like this, and we have the unit system for the 60 hertz and 50 hertz. We can make it metric for 50 hertz, for example, and uh, we can also uh, click it OK, then click it OK. So we can create the ETAP database uh, and we can create the project on this <coughs> ETAP project. So uh, uh, on, uh, on this line, on this line, you can see all of the procedures, all of the components on the ETAP database. So we have a lot of things here on AC, DC, and a lot of a lot of things like this: static valve compensators, static loads, uh, uh, tap changers, transformers, transmission lines, a fuse filter, harmonic, DC static load, DC motor, DC lamp load, a lot of DC bus, AC bus, composite frame, composite network. This is very 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 important for electrical engineering uh, students. So today we are going to see and we can create uh, with new scenario, for example, we have three bus, so we can create the bus like this. We have bus, for example, this is our first bus, this is our second bus, and this is our third bus. So the first bus, we can rotate it by click it, clicking Ctrl plus R. So we can align it on the, in the vertical direction. Also, for this one, we can align it in the vertical direction and we can drag it on the top. And for this, we can make it like this. And we can also elongate it. We can also elongate it by making it like this. And we can also elongate it like this. We can also elongate it like this. So this is the three buses in our three bus system electrical network so we have bus one here we have bus two here and we have bus three here so in this case in this case bus one and we can also add generators lumper loads and transmission lines in this uh, three bus system in order to create a generator just click it the generator create a generator like this and we can also create another generator, for example, on bus two, on bus three. And we can also uh, make the uh, lumper load, lumper loads like this. In order to connect this generator into the bus network, into the bus uh, uh, network, we can uh, click it like this, and we have to see this uh, uh, square. So just connect it like this. 
and we can also rotate it now we connect the generator like this in this case we have we have also see the uh, the uh, generator like this and we can also rotate it we can also rotate it like this this is our generator this is our generator second generator and second bus and we can also uh, connect the lamp load like this we can also create the impedance branch by making the transmission lines like this we have this transmission line we can uh, connect it from for example bus 3 to bus 1 like this we can connect it another transmission line like this and we can connect it in the second third, uh, third bus uh, we can also add another transmission line in order to connect bus 1 to bus uh, 2 bus 1 to bus 2 so here it is so here is the impedance so this is also created so friends uh, this is a very simple design so we have two generators here we have one but two three buses three uh, uh, buses and three uh, two generators and one leopard load so we can assume like this we have swing bus we have load bus we have generator bus it's a very simple uh, uh, design like for example this is a swing bus in the swing bus as discussed earlier we have known two parameters these parameters are the voltage and the shift angle two unknown variables which are the real power and reactive power which can be calculated by the iterations on gauss sedal algorithm or gs algorithm and in this in the bus 2 we have load bus this load bus is this load bus is pq bus or which is also called pq control bus it has known variables for uh, uh, p and q which is real power and reactive power the unknown variables or the unknown parameters are the voltage and the uh, shift angle here we have generator bus or also called uh, the so-called pv control bus which the known variables are real power and voltage the unknown variables or the unknown parameters are the shift angle and the uh, reactive power so we can uh, uh, parameterize this generator by clicking it uh, like this and we have gen 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 generator like generator one generator one and it is a swing bus the operation mode must be swing mode not voltage control not mvr and not power factor control it must be swing because it's connected to the swing bus swing bus always uh, make like the backup for the generator for the first generator so we have 1.05 voltage uh, uh, per unit in magnitude and we have the shift angle which has zero degree as a reference zero degree as a reference so go to rating we can assume the voltage for the first for example 1 kV 1 kV and we can make the megawatt like 10 megawatt 10 megawatt so for the operating values for the operating values this kV 1.05 and for the operating values it must be 105 which must which is will be calculated in per unit and 105 divided by 100 it will be 1.05 so we can make it okay we can make it okay so we already created the generator so ETAP has its function its functions for example in the, in this bus we didn't uh, put the kv values or anything but uh, by click by putting the parameter or by put, by putting the parameters or by parameterizing the generator here 1.05 kv is already written is already written in order to make let me let let me make it uh, a little bit uh, zoom so a little bit zoom like this 
and it's I think it's seenable it's visible so this here it is 1.05 kb i didn't put anything but by clicking it we can see it's 101.05 kb 1.05 kb so in second gender in the second bus we have 1.05 not 1.05 we can make it like the nominal uh, voltage which will be one point only one kb for example make it one kb so the initial operating voltage 100 percent we can make it uh, like this and we can also change this like nominal kb 1.04 for example 1.04 so the operating initial voltage percentage is 100 so it's, it, it will be 1.04 kv like this 1.04 kv in this generator in this generator we can also create the generator for example we can make it 200 megawatt so we we will uh, write like generator 2 and it's a voltage control and the rating must be well, for example 200 megawatt on the kv is 1.04 kv 1.04 kV in the operating voltage is 104 104 it is 1.04 kV so uh, we didn't put anything here anything here for example we can uh, 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 put the lamp load which is the lamp load it's, it, it's the load we can make it load uh, we can uh, make the um, for example which is lamp one make it lamp one for example and in the nameplate we can make it um, uh, for example the mv the m watt the mega watt let us give it like 150 150 megawatt and 400 uh, for example uh, for example uh, it's 400 megawatt with uh, 125 mvr for example so the uh, the system calculate the mv or the apparent power here and also the percentage power factor in the load full current the, the full load current but the load type is again 80% constant kV it must be 100 in order to get the values accurate so it must be 100 kV 100% so just click it okay it is a lamped which is lamped load which is a load and in order to parameterize these transmission lines we can start from transmission line 1 transmission line 1 and make it the rating value for example the resistance value is 2% for example, we can make it two, and the reactance value might be four, because the reactance value is much much greater than the reactant, the resistance value, in the transmission lines. So the uh, base KV is one. For example, we can make it one, or for the first uh, transmission line, we can make it one point zero five. For example, KV, and for this one. Uh, we have the uh, uh, transmission line for example which uh, um, 1.25 for example in the reactance 2.5 percent and we can make it 1 kV and we can also have the rating for the first let's say 1 the reactance in the resistance in the reactance 3 and let's say it's 1 and it's also uh, it's already calculated and it's already given so in order to calculate the load flow just click it pq here switch the current pres presentation to load flow analysis uh, mode so you know by clicking this we have this run load flow load flow calculation so we can click it okay just click it okay so we have these values this value already calculated by the system already calculated by the system so we have these values by the uh, uh, the software but but the only reason we can uh, see it this it's very difficult to understand this value so in order to make these values 
so moderate just click it like the unit we can change the unit like this make it like uh, um, for example we can make uh, the unit by for example uh, kilowatt kvar or we can make it percentage volt uh, kv or in percentage or you can make it in uh, um, so in order to change these values it's it can be easily understandable it, in order to understand it easily easily so the values like this it, 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 uh, someone cannot understand this it cannot and uh, someone cannot understand these values so in order to create these values just uh, uh, click and hold press hold and make m so this is the in megawatt and megavar values so we have this megawatt megavar values and we have also this megawatt and megavar values and also we can also uh, display another things we can also display another in order to display another for example the megawatt losses the megavar losses the shift angle values just click the display options and we can click the angle the shift angle and we can also branch losses the megawatt in the megawatt losses just click apply and okay so we have also the this <coughs> uh, this is the megawatt and megawatt losses which is the megawatts and megawatt losses we have the degrees the degree for example he, he, here it is zero degree but the percentage is hundred percent in order to change the hundred percent in order to so click here and make it 100 nominal kv1 and initial is 105 just click it okay then it is already changed to 105 percent 105 percent so this is all about the load flow calculation or the lfa or the power flow studies using the etap software so friends this is the last chapter on lfa we we test test the three <coughs> softwares the three softwares the the power roller simulator the dig silent power factory and the etap in the next two and three chapters we can see the renewable energies like wind and solar energies and their applications using the fuzzy logic control and the pid control and we can test and compare compare the values what one another one another so friends thank you very much for today's lesson we can uh, <coughs> uh, we can see this three bus system network in uh, in the description box uh, i will upload the uh, description in the description box and uh, you can uh, <coughs> download it from the google drive the all the it up this model uh, so uh, thank you very much don't forget to like uh, subscribe and share to my channel with your colleagues so thank you very much guys thank you uh, bye